Good morning. If you've made it to this video, you are one of the few lucky ones who have been able to witness me and MP doing our best, including with the help of a bunch of others, of course, to get this boat ready for launch. And we have been filming every single day and posting every single day. Hopefully, we can manage to do that until we launch. We have already done a bunch of stuff in the past five days. This is day six. We've managed to put on a sacrificial keel, a big reinforcement plate around the propeller. We've managed to drill our first through hole. We are working on electrics and we've done so much. Today is gonna to be a super cool day because I think after today, I think I'll only have half a day because I need to do so much editing to get these videos ready for you guys and MP of course. But today I think we're gonna have the entire engine ready. Like through hole, filter, water pump, and so on. Everything is gonna be ready. If I still have a little bit of time left, there is something down there on the floor that used to be on Yaba, but that I lost the mounts of somewhere. I probably placed them so well, somewhere I would not lose them. I placed them so well that I lost them. So the welders who welded the big reinforcement plate down on the keel, they helped me out with a little mounting piece so I can install that. So if I manage to finish the engine quickly, I'll try and finish that thing over there at the bow as well to show you guys. Without further ado, I think this, doesn't belong here on the table and it belongs on the or under the boat also if you're already a subscriber thank you so much it means a lot to us if you haven't subscribed yet it's just one click of the button to follow our journey and it's free for you and it really supports us and if you enjoy this video don't forget to hit that like button as well that means a lot to us as well Now all that's left is to cover this with some tape, put Sika under it and on a bit on the last bit of thread and then uh, fasten it. And same here, I'm gonna fasten it enough and then when it's dry, fasten it more so the dried Sika becomes a kind of a rubber gasket that really seals. I was going to just fasten the front part of the cage with a stainless screw, but I just don't want to be faffing and have to take it out later and put a bronze screw in. So I went to go and get one, however, they didn't have any counter, they didn't have any lug screws. So I've got a regular screw, I'm going to sharpen the tip and hopefully by just tightening this, this will also work. Uh, this was the only thing missing for that whole through hole to be placed and that's what I'm going to do now. Now I've got this. Of course it has to take a bit longer than usual to go to the shops and I did some more shopping while I was there for the future projects but now it's going to be installed. I'm bound to have everything now so let's see if we can get this finished. Let's uh... <laughs> It's probably not needed, but just to seal the deal, I'm gonna fit a tiny bit of Seeker just around the edge over there. So when it tightens, it kind of tightens onto Seeker Flex. Yeah, it's probably not needed, but I'll do it anyway. Now 
Now I've been using a lot of tools lately and there's a few categories of tools and one is tools that you almost never need but when you need there's nothing else that can replace it and one of them is this. In English it's called a comment below but in Portuguese it's called a grifo that's why that's the only term I know it in because I've been living here for too long now but literally this well I've got quite a big one because or if anything smaller I can tend to use a different tool but this is made to be slightly loose so whenever you tighten something by pushing down on here it squeezes down on whatever you're trying to tighten and in this case it just went for you it worked on a very big nut so now I'm gonna put some of this white tape what's it called again whatever that and lots of liquid gasket because this is something I don't want to leak anytime soon and there's a lot of pressure under here on this through hole All we need to do now is let all this kind of dry a bit. What we have now is a valve with a two inch, well, a two inch valve. And the inlet of the filter over here is one and a half inch, which is this hose connector. So what we have here is a two inch to one and a half inch adapter. Adapter, that's what it's called. Yesterday I was calling it a reduction. Because in Portuguese it's a, was it, hidusão? Which is reduction. So I'm going to do the same thing, put the tape on, put some uh, liquid gasket. Initially I have not seen anyone use this liquid gasket. I've seen lots of people complain about this tape so I'm putting this diesel gas liquid gasket for diesel engines and if it holds diesel I'm pretty sure it holds salt water and it, the biggest disadvantage I can think of is that it's just a bit more of a pain to unscrew once it's cured but with one of these it's not a pain to unscrew so I'm just going to continue with it and then I'll work towards the engine. I can hereby say that everything from the inlet that we've just installed over to the exhaust tip that still has to be extended to the transom is completely ready. I've even managed to put this oil removing tap here, which used to be here, but because of the hose I couldn't. Absolutely everything is done. We just need to add the belt for the water pump and the belt for the 24 volt alternator. We don't have that one yet because it's not connected to batteries and it's bad to have it spinning without charging anything but other than that absolutely everything is ready now initially I had put two initially like way long ago two of these hose clamps on each one one with the screw up and one with the screw down however I got lots of comments saying uh, that there is a better version which is this one over here which is way stronger and way tighter so instead of putting two of these I've been putting one of these now I'm not sure like the feeling I have when tightening them I feel like two of these is still very good I have replaced as many as I could for now of this 
We'll see if when the engine starts, if anything leaks, of course you just turn the engine off. It'll be here just doing some tests. Turn the engine off, replace some things, but hopefully, probably and hopefully, nothing will leak. Having this done means that the engine is a big check. Like engine is done off the list. We just need to add that pre, like I said, and the exhaust and it's just done. Like we hopefully shouldn't be coming back to the engine anytime soon. So yeah, let's head up on deck and I'll go forwards, completely forwards, close to the bow locker to show you what next door has made for us and what we're gonna install right now. You might have noticed that MP hasn't been as present in the videos as she used to. That's because she's not feeling at her best. Like this isn't my story to tell when she feels ready or when she wants to tell you. If she wants to tell you, then uh, she will and you'll get more information. But she recently went through a surgery and she's recovering really well. So she's not appearing much. She's still very, very keen though to get this boat finished and launched and go sailing. But uh, you'll see her now and then her bubbly happy self and doing her best but uh just forgive us for not getting her in the videos as much as she would like or as some of you might like either the next job that i want to do today is something that was 100 percent not on our to-do list to do before going into the water as it is definitely not needed to float or just to whatever it is a big bimini that went between the main mast and the furling system over there. Now we had the supports that used to go onto the rail over here that was stored somewhere but I have no idea where they are. So we had, while the welders were at it yesterday, up to yesterday, we asked them if they could help us with those supports and they did and they did an absolutely amazing job. You'll see the bimini in place or you'll see what shape it is while it's being installed but the, look at this beautifully polished beautifully polished piece of stainless over here which is going to be fastened onto this to hold the bimini up and then all we need i think i'll put this on already it's the actual bimini itself and then we can stretch it open try it already and we just need a piece of string on or rope on each side to keep it up There we go, not only can we relax out there in the pilot house or here on the roof, this bimini gives us the availability to put some bean bags down here, maybe a lounge chair or some cushions against that, that, that superstructure, a cool box with some cold drinks. We'll have the netting up here that goes from the cat head all the way to the tip of the bowsprit where someone can hang in and relax. So this is i think going to be one of our favorite relaxing areas when we're out at sea just to get more breeze feel like we're in the open air now this is in place it's not in the way anymore we were always bashing our heads against it we were always moving it forwards here down and stuff because all these stainless steel beams were just all the arches were getting in the way also i think it's best that this tarp is up there or at least the beam is up there instead of getting dusty inside believe it or not inside it is dustier than then up here now, what has to be done? It's a very cool system. I mean, there's a little hole. I mean, it starts to be tightened and all that, but there's a little hole here. I might put a cleat there. I'll put another cleat here, just to fasten and adjust the bimini a bit. A rope goes there as well. I might just add or weld a few little cleats onto these so I can tighten this down. It's not very visible, is it? There, tighten this down. And by tightening these side ones, the rain doesn't get caught on the top as much also i want to change this rope this one is massive but yeah it's in place now it's not in the way anymore in the boat we can fold it forwards all the way onto here it doesn't get in the way of the pins 
And what else? I bought two screws to fasten it onto the boat instead of four, so I've just got to, well, I've improvised for now, so I've got this. Got to go and get some more. And that is it. That is it. I'm finished with the diesel engine. We have all of us together, MP, Rafa, Orlando, Elio, thank you so much. The diesel engine is a wrap. So now we literally have filled the diesel tank, the one out of four, flowing into the diesel tank, into the engine, and out the exhaust, as in energy and fumes. Also now we've got the input of the raw water going all the way through the engine and out through the exhaust. Yes, we still need the exhaust, but technically for me, that is another subject. Diesel engine is ready. I really hope you're enjoying these videos. It does take us a lot of time, but we are really enjoying making them for you guys. Let us know what you think. If you have any feedback, that's always good. If you have already clicked the like button to like this video, or if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. You are the best. If you haven't, it's just a click away from supporting us loads and it's completely free for you. So I'm gonna call this a wrap. I'm gonna put that top down because you don't want to open unattended. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.